hello students so now we are going to start with one more curve of tracing of curves which is called as strophoid or loop now we are going to see how that curve looks like and what is the equation of the curve so that we can use the same shape of the curve and the equation of the curve while solving the numerical <music> So friends, on the screen you can see there are four different curves or the equation of the curves I have written. Now, let us understand how to draw the curves. So before starting this, let me tell you that I have already covered the same curves in the tracing of curves where we have seen the scientific properties of these curves while drawing the curve. But now in this video, I am not going to deal with any of the property. Here I will be telling you the shortcut technique to remember the equation of the curve and the shape of the curve. So as the name is loop or the strophoid, let me tell you how the loop looks like. So we all know that loop has a shape like this. Okay, so whenever we see this type of shape, we call it as a loop. So yes, my friends, in this curve that is loop, we are gonna see the same type of loop. So to know that, let's see how do we find out the uh, shape or the structure of the curve so guys for that always remember that the equation of the stroke loop will have even power of y okay so here you can see that in the first or second third or final equation we have even power of y okay with that we have the even power of x also and we have certain terms which are just x terms or i would say the linear terms now guys whenever we have to find out that point of intersection of that loop with the x axis what we have to do is we have to consider y as zero because we all know that on x axis the value of y is zero so if i say if y is equal to zero what are the different values of x so if it is zero then this whole side will become zero and here i'll get x equal to zero and x equal to a so i'll get two values so here i'll plot those points so here one point is zero and one point is a so guys this is a point a comma zero and this is a point zero comma zero so yes these are the two points from which your loop will pass now the thing is if you'll see the loop there is one knot so we should know how that knot comes or where that knot will come so for that always remember a technique which i am showing you now see in your equation you will be having the quadratic terms as well as the linear terms what you have to do is you have to remember one structure in your mind that is x minus a the whole square and y minus let's say b the whole square so you have to search these terms that is square terms so x square term and y square term so in this with x we have negative a so just take the opposite sign which is a with y we have negative b just take the opposite sign that is b so a comma b will the point where your knot will come so you have to search the square terms and just take this uh, the numbers which are present with x and y now in our case the square terms are x square and y square but with them it has no number so consider it as zero so it means it is x minus zero the whole square and y minus zero the whole square it means at zero comma zero your knot will come so guys if knot is gonna come here and this is the other point of intersection then definitely my curve will look like this here I'll draw it for you so so this is what will be the structure of loop so you can see I'm getting not here now similarly if I talk about this curve again here with x square or with x I don't have anything in y square term with y I don't have anything so it means 0 comma 0 will be again the point where the not will come here with x I have b so just observe the square terms so it means at b comma 0 you'll get that not and in this case at 0 comma 0 you'll get the not because in x square and y square term there is no number present so this is how we find out the knot now here guys i got this point as a comma zero this point is zero comma zero 
Now after this, whenever we are drawing this curve, in this curve we will also get the asymptote. I have already covered that asymptote in the tracing of curve. So let me tell you guys how we get the asymptote. So what you have to observe is what is that value of x for which y is becoming infinity because at that point or at that line will get the asymptote okay so asymptote is a straight line itself so guys if you observe here then y square is x square into a minus x whole upon a plus x and in that if i put x equal to minus a then denominator will become zero and I will get answer as infinity. It means y will become infinity. So it means at x equal to minus a, at this straight line, I'm getting a symptom because at that point, we are getting value of y as infinity. So x equal to minus a will come somewhere here. So what I can do is I can draw a straight line here. So this is x equal to minus a. So guys, this line will be called as a symptom. So this is how that loop will look now we'll just draw the loop for the remaining equation so remember guys in exam what do we require to solve the numericals we generally require the shape of the loop how it will be whether it will open or it will be towards left hand side or it will be towards the right hand side and will require the asymptote now in this case the square term let's observe the square terms so square terms with square term we have 0 and 0 so at 0 comma 0 we'll get a naught but to know the other point of intersection we should put y as 0 because by substituting y as 0 we'll get different values of x if y is 0 this side is 0 here we'll get x as 0 and we'll get x as negative a so guys negative a is here so it means we'll get loop here also here the uh, in the square terms we have 0 comma 0 it means that not will be at 0 comma 0 so our loop will look like this here i'll draw it so guys this is the point which is called as minus a comma 0 and this is a point which is 0 comma 0 again if i want to know the asymptote just find out the value of x for which y is infinity so for that i'll take this a minus x in the denominator it will come here and then if i put x equal to a i'll get denominator at zero and the answer will be infinity so it means at x equal to a here i'll draw that line we will get the asymptote next let's draw the next curve so here we have y square which is equal to x minus a into x minus b the whole square let's put y is equal to zero so if y is zero x will be a and x will be b so here i'll draw so let's assume that uh, our b here I'll, I'll assume one thing that is my b is greater than a so it means here i'll get let's say point a and here i'm getting let's say point b so these are the two points from which my loop will pass now let's find out the knot or the point at which we'll get the knot so for that we have to observe the square term so here it is b with y we have 0 so b comma 0 will be the point at which we will get the knot so this is that point so our loop will look like this next let's come here similarly we will put y 0 so if y 0 x will be 0 or x will be a so this is the one point and this is the second point now to find out the knot we will observe these square terms so here with x square and with y square we have nothing so it is 0 comma 0 so at 0 comma 0 we'll get a knot and our loop will pass through these two points so that is why i'll say that it will look like this so this will be the shape so this is a comma 0 and this is 0 comma 0 so guys this will be the shape of this equation now let's take few more example so that in exam if you get any such loop then you'll be able to draw it by yourself so on the screen again we have two more equations so for this equation again i'll put y0 if i put y0 i'll get x equal to 0 or x equal to 3a so x equal to 0 is this point x equal to 3a is this point so guys after this we should know 
where that not will come so let's take the square term so with y square we have nothing so 0 with x square in x square term we have 3a so at 3a comma 0 will get the naught so this is that point 3a comma 0 so guys at this point we'll get the naught and our loop will pass through this two points so i'll draw it it will look like this so guys this will be the shape now in the next case here we'll put y0 and that is where we'll get two values of x that is it will be i'll i'll shift this to the right hand side i'll write it like this x y square equal to negative x plus a the whole square and x plus 2a now guys if we put x y equal to 0 then we get x equal to minus a or x equal to minus 2a so here i'll draw these two points so let's say this is the point x equal to minus 2 and this is x equal to minus a now our loop will pass through these two points now we should know where the knot is so for that we'll consider the square term so here this is a square term so in x with x we have plus a so it means at minus a and comma zero because with y square we have nothing so zero so at minus a comma zero we'll get the knot so here we'll get that knot so here i'll write this point as negative a comma zero and this point is minus 2a comma zero so we'll draw it so guys this is how it will look so we have drawn around uh, five to six different types of loop and now in the next video we are going to solve the numericals based on loop so guys here i have just given you the hint or you can see the trick to remember the equation of the loop and how to draw its shape based on the different types of equation and i'm sure you understood it uh, properly so guys just keep following the ekira channel because this is the only place where you'll get all engineering lectures under one roof and you can get the lectures from the faculty like me also share this channel with your friends because friend in need is a friend indeed they can also get benefited through such videos so thank you very much guys keep watching next video because there i'm gonna cover the numericals which are based on strophoid thank you